Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Amazing Seller Podcast. This is episode number 757 and session number 238 of Ask Scott. This is where I answer your questions here on the podcast, and I'm going to do it again here today. But today, well, if you're listening to this on the day that this airs, it is Black Friday, and hopefully you're having an amazing day and your sales are off the chain, like you're just doing awesome. Hopefully that is the case. If this is after the case, well, hopefully you're still doing well, all right, because a lot of people focus on just this one day, and yes, it's a great opportunity, and Cyber Monday is coming, Uh, so yes, we do want to take advantage of these, but anyway, happy Black Friday if you are one of those that goes out and shops in the morning early or at night after Thanksgiving, which I'm not a huge fan of that, by the way. I think we should we should have a, a rule that you can't go out until like maybe, I don't know, at least 12 or 1 o'clock after Thanksgiving is over. But anyway, hopefully you had an amazing holiday uh, and uh, you didn't get too full on turkey, which I know that uh, that I did. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. So this is session 238. We are going to be talking about Black Friday because a lot of people say, well, Scott, it's Black Friday and now it's over. Now what? Now what do I do? Well, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to give you some some things that you need to consider when you are planning and prepping for an, an event like this or a promotion like this, but how you can take this, what you already did, and how you can capitalize on that and how you can then set up the next promotion with, uh, you know, whatever that is. All right. So before we do jump into that, if you have a question that you want me to answer on an upcoming Ask Scott session, all you have to do is head over to the amazing seller.com forward slash ask, and you can do it right there. All right. Or you can go to YouTube if you're on YouTube and you can uh, submit a comment there. And generally I'll look through those and, um, I will uh, pick one out there if it makes sense. All right. So the other thing I want to share here before we uh, get rocking and rolling, I give you my thoughts of the of the week, and then also I'm going to talk about what we're going to do here now that Black Friday is technically over, depending on when you're listening to this. But if you are listening to this on the day of Black Friday, well, if you're interested in joining Brand Creators Academy, if you've been emailing me and asking me when are you going to be opening again, if you've missed the last two episodes, we are opening tomorrow, which is going to be November 30th for just 24 hours because, well, we weren't really going to open again until January 6th, which we still are going to open January 6th, 2020, but we've had a lot of people that said, Scott, can I get in before uh, the first of the year? And uh, well, we decided to do this in celebration of Black Friday, but we're going to do it on the day after Black Friday. So November 30th for 24 hours, we're also going to include a very secret special bonus and uh, you're going to get that as well. If you're interested You're going to need to head over to brandcreators.com. You'll also find some free resources there for you. We have our brand growth validation checklist, and there's two videos of me walking you through how to use it, but then also how to validate and see the growth potential in your market or the market that you want to go into. So definitely grab those resources regardless uh, if it's before uh, November 30th or if it's after, those are there for you because I want you to really understand the opportunities that your market has if if it has any at all, and that will really help you with that. If you are listening to this after the fact, as far as November 30th goes, well, mark your calendar for January 6th, 2020, because that's when we officially will be opening for five days, and then we'll be closing again, Brand Creators Academy, and the reason why we do that is because we want to be able to help our members as much as possible, and that's where all of our focus goes uh, when we are not open for new enrollment. Okay, so definitely make sure that you mark that on your calendar because once we open and then once we close, we're done for a few months. Okay, now the other thing I want to do here before we get rocking and rolling is I want to give a little shout out to my buddy Todd Welch, who is actually on the podcast and he's also in Brand Creators Academy, but he had a pretty cool win. And again, this is what I I want to celebrate because so many people think like a win is like, oh, you just made a hundred thousand dollars. Like, yes, but that's so far down on the track, we need to celebrate the little wins, the wins that then build momentum. So what Todd has been doing is he's been selling a few products on Amazon on a regular basis over the past year. He's also doing wholesale, um, but he's really now focusing on the, on this one brand in particular. Okay. So he's been doing that, but he knew he wanted to start building external traffic and start to build out that so he can diversify. Well, 
he had his first affiliate sale, his first sale. Do you remember your first sale? Like I remember my first sale and uh, it was uh, on eBay and uh, I sold uh, an old piece of software that I wasn't going to use anymore uh, because I was on a Windows machine and uh, the Mac that I was using needed to have a program and um, I had to buy this and long story short, I didn't need it anymore. So I sold it. I sold it for like 70 or $80. Mind blowing. So that was my first sale. Um, but Todd had his first affiliate sale. Now, what's cool about an affiliate sale is it came from traffic on his website, all right? And he didn't have to have that product in inventory. That's not his product. Now, what did he make on it? Uh, probably around 5%, I'm going to guess, maybe 8%, depending on the category and, uh, you know, how how much, um, you know, the, uh, the, the product was selling for. Like, there, there's some different variables there. But he made a sale that wasn't, he didn't have to deliver or any of that stuff. So now it's just like, okay, cool. I validated that the traffic's coming in and it converted to a sale. The more posts that we put out there with other related products, then it just continually grows. So just want to celebrate with him. And again, inside of Brand Creators Academy, that's what we're doing. We're building out these external channels and it might seem like a small win, but it's a huge win because the process works. Now, he's also built his email list over 2000 people and he's sending an email per you know one one per week right now and he's already seeing a bump in traffic on his blog, which is always awesome because then uh, what happens is is Google starts to index this content and starts to get some organic traffic, which he's already getting right now. I think he reported back he's getting like 250 or 300 uh, visitors uh, to his blog, which is great. I mean, as a start, that is awesome. And then you build from there. I remember the blog that I shared with you guys, the uh, the 1 million visitors in 12 months. That started with the same thing. Like, you had a trickle of traffic and then you kept posting content. And then over the course of like the next three or four months, we had 800 people. And then a few months later we had, you know, 3000 and it just continually grows, but you're constantly adding content. You're constantly building the email list. And that's what Todd's doing. So again, I just want to give him a round of applause and just say, Congratulations, Todd, if you're listening. Um, I know that uh, we are celebrating inside a Brand Creators Academy, but I just wanted to give you a public shout out here on the podcast. All right, so cool. So, all right, let's get into my thoughts real quick. Then we're going to get into Black Friday is over. Now what? So first off, my thoughts, okay? The big thing that I want you to do right now, because we're approaching 2020 right now, is I want you to consider planning. All right, sit down and map out what needs to be done in your business right now, right? Well, not now, but you know, after you listen to this, right? Give yourself some time, allow yourself time to plan. We don't do that. We don't allow ourselves time to plan. We need to sit down, a little bit of alone time, uh, maybe have a cup of coffee, you know, just or tea, whatever you, whatever you like, hot cocoa, whatever it is, and just relax and sit down and map out what needs to be done in your business. What are your goals moving forward? All right. Allow yourself this time. Other thing is write it down on paper, get a notebook. It's really, I love going back in my notebook and looking like a year ago and two years ago and seeing what I'm, what I'm planning and then seeing what happened and what worked, what didn't work or how things have changed. But the other thing is, is when you plan, you commit because then you can see it. You can say, oh, wow, I'm, I'm saying I'm going to do all this stuff. What's the plan? And then when am I going to do it? And then so you commit to it and then you take action on it, right? So do that, all right? I see so many people just, they're, they're just sitting down and going, okay, what do I work on? You know, and then they don't really get a lot done, right? Plan. All right, plan wherever you are right now. What is the next move? What is the thing that you need to get done? Is it building the email list? Well, go to that free resource that I created for you over at theamazingseller.com forward slash build list and go through that and start building your email list. Okay, uh, maybe it's uh, well, Scott, I don't know if I can create content for my site. Well, go to brandcreators.com and download the free, uh, you know, the, the, the free PDF that I created for you so you can go through it and I actually show you how to do it. Like, whatever it is. You need to plan the time to sit down, map it out, and whatever it is, learn that one thing for that one move, right? Don't think you got to do it all, all right? So again, that's my thoughts. Plan and allow yourself time to do that, all right? So let's get into it. Black Friday is over. Now what? Hopefully, you're like, yes, that was awesome. That was great. And you can ride that high a little bit, but here's the deal. Number one, there's more holidays and days to promote. 
It doesn't have to be just a major holiday or a major event. It can be your birthday. I've done that before and I still do it. I think it's a great idea. Or maybe it's your kid's birthday. You just feel like celebrating. If you have a reason why, then you can have a promotion. You can have a special. Another reason why you want an email list, by the way. All right. So number two, take advantage of days like Black Friday or the season. Okay. So you always want to take advantage of these if it's a shopping season. Okay. So example is Black Friday. Maybe it's prime. Maybe it's uh, July and it's a uh, prime day. Right. And you know that that's building up. That's building up. So here's something that you can do. Here's a little, here's a little ninja thing that you can do. Okay. If you have an email list, if you have a blog, okay, you can create a blog post with related products or reviews of products that you're doing comparisons, pros and cons, whatever it is. And you can have your affiliate links in that post. And then what you can do is you can email your email list about that blog post right? It's kind of like, you know, the Nikon and the Canon shootout, right? Where you have all these different comparisons on those two cameras, whatever it is, do that in your market. And then what you do is you can drive people over to the blog post, which your affiliate links would be. And then the cool thing is, is if it's a buying or a shopping time, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Prime Day, whatever, well, the cart is going to be, their car is going to be full of other products, not just yours because they're shopping, right? Well, as an affiliate link, you're cookied for 24 hours, meaning you're tracked that you sent them to Amazon. Amazon will give you credit for everything that's in the cart. So an example, let's say that my wife is shopping and she has, you know, a thousand dollars worth of items in the shopping cart and She hasn't checked out yet, but they're in the shopping cart. And then she goes ahead and clicks on my link in a blog post that she's doing, uh, you know, some research on or that she stumbled on or whatever. And then from there, she clicks on the link, but doesn't even buy my product. She just goes from that link over to Amazon. She goes, oh, you know what? While I'm here, I should probably check out. And then she checks out. You're going to get credit for what's in the cart. That's the cool thing. So you might even want to plan back into the planning thing. You might even want to plan some of these promotions around those seasons of buying uh, or, you know, shopping, right? So again, that's just a little, a little ninja thing there that we, we are doing. And actually the time that I'm recording this, we just did that, uh, two days ago, we, we wrote a a post with that intent and then we sent the email list there. Um, and actually I sent an email and then I sent to the unopens, which I always say that you should do. So, okay. Uh, number three. Create a three-month promotion calendar. Again, taking that time to sit down and plan. What does the month look like? What does next month look like? And then while you're doing this, you can start to plan out your content. You can start planning out your emails that you're going to write, all of that stuff. I'll give you a recent example, okay? Brand Creators Academy, okay? It opens on January 6, 2020, okay? I am mentioning that right now here, Okay. It's not open right now. You can't, depending on when you're listening to this, if you're listening to this on January 6th through the 11th, then it's open. But you know, you're hearing me talk about it. I'm telling you about it. I'm saying go to brandcreators.com and grab the free downloads and, and the, you know, the, the free training and get on the wait list, right? I'm mentioning it and I'm going to be creating content that's going to be in line with that. Okay. Up until January 6th. All right. So I've already mapped out all of my content. The content's going to serve you. Like I'm doing, uh, again, probably something I should have mentioned in the beginning. Uh, and I mentioned it, I think an episode or two ago, but uh, I'm going to be creating a six part brand building series for the podcast. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to be able to take bite sized pieces of the process and then have them through a series. So a year from now I can point people to that resource, guys, go to the, the six-part series. I created a podcast uh, series on it, and I'll link it. I'll put it on one page on the blog, and then you can consume it all the way through, right? So it, again, it forces me to think a little bit about that process. And then the other thing is, is I'm going to be mentioning Brand Creators Academy throughout the entire thing, right? And so then you would say, okay, well, let me go over and, and, and go through that process, and let me see if this is even for me. And so what I'm doing is I'm educating, I'm helping, I'm creating resources that I can use now, I can use later, but it's also very helpful to the market, to you, right? 
So that's just an example on how you would do that. I've already planned that out. I planned it all the way up till January, uh, January 6th. Okay. So again, you want to be, uh, you know, very deliberate about the content because this way here, it helps you stay on target, but everything you're doing is going to help in, you know, the next promotion, right? And the promotion for you might be a piece of content that you want to build your email list with. And that's fine. Like us right now, Brand Creators Academy, uh, the resource for that is the five page uh, guide that will walk you through the brand growth validation checklist, which again, by the way, if you haven't downloaded it, you might want to go do that and print it out. I would say print it out right in it. And then from there, go through the, the video training that I created for it, right? So right now, all the attention is going to go there because that's what I want to, number one, talk about. That's what I believe in. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on. So that's where everything's going, right? Nothing else. And so all the content that I'm going to be producing is going to be related to that. Okay. I'm being totally transparent with you guys. See, this is what happens on these Friday episodes, which there's nothing to be secret about. Even with your market, you're doing it deliberately because it's going to, you know, if you're going to teach someone how to catch more bass and you have a bass fishing course coming out at the end of the month, well, you better start, you know, supplying useful tips about how to catch bass, you know, so that way there are people that are signing up are going to be interested in bass fishing, right? Same thing happened when I was doing the photography stuff, right? I was putting out content that was helping people, you know, uh, take really good pictures of newborns. Well, it just happened that we sold a newborn training program or uh, maybe templates for uh, baby announcements or whatever, right? Everything's leading there, okay? So you need to create that three-month promotion calendar so you know what you're doing. You need to plan. Remember I said that earlier, right? Okay. And number four, if you have targets, you know what you're aiming for. Okay. These are targets, right? And again, the target could be Black Friday. What are we going to do for Black Friday? I had to think about that. I'm like, we're not opening until January 6th. I don't really want to do like this big promotion for anything. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just open the doors for 24 hours. And that way there, it's something special. And we don't, you know, we don't do it any other time, but this time, and then we're going to open January 6th. And then that's it. That's the promotion, right? And so that's it, right? The promotion just means the focus, the way I look at it, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, money gain, or if it's just the attention gain, whatever it is, it's just needs to be that target and that focus. Okay. And then number five is focus on long-term assets versus short-term. Okay. Content plus email list plus relationship that right there, my friends is money. Okay. It's money in the bank, but it's also money as far as you're going to have really goodwill with your market. And when you have goodwill with your market, they might not buy today, but in 12 months from now, they could, right? With Amazon, all if all you're doing is focus on selling Amazon products, you're just looking at how do I sell another product today? How do I sell 10 more today? Like that's it, right? But here, what we're doing is we've got so many different angles that we can come at this with content, with email, and then that relationship build. We have so much more that we can pull from that. Okay. So let me just recap. Number one, there's more holidays and days to promote, uh, not just black Friday. So it's okay, right? Just, you need to understand what they are and map them out. And it can even be your birthday Two, take advantage of days like black Friday or the season. Like I said, make sure that you do bring awareness to those, but you need to map it out. And number three, create a three month promotional calendar with those holidays or with those promotions or with those special uh, times that you're going to be uh, promoting. Okay. And then number four is you need to have targets, set those targets. So that way there, you know what you're aiming for. And then five, focus on long-term assets versus short-term assets. Okay. They need to be things. I like to create things that I can plant today and I can, you know, pick the, the, you know, the, uh, the, the flower or the plant or, you know, whatever terminology you want to use. I want to, I want to be able to pick that again in 12 months. And then I want to have it regrow and have it, you know, be able to pick it again. Right. So that's what we're doing here. All right. So again, really, really important that you understand that it's not over. All right. Black Friday's over, but your next promotion is just the next one in line. You just got to figure those out. And I think I've given you a roadmap to do that. All right. So a little bit longer of an episode here, uh, but I wanted to get into the meat of it there. And hopefully this has helped you. Uh, Again, one reminder, brandcreators.com. If you're at all interested in joining us, 
This is going to be the time before we close and then reopen on January 6th. So if you're listening to this on Black Friday, well, tomorrow, Saturday, we are going to be open for just 24 hours. And I have a really cool bonus that I'm going to be sharing with all of our Academy members, but also anyone that joins um, during that 24 hour period. All right. So brandcreators.com. All right, guys. So that is it. That is going to wrap up this episode. As always, remember, I'm here for you. I believe in you and I am rooting for you. But you have to, you have to, come on, say it with me, say it loud, say it proud, take action. Have an awesome, amazing day, and I'll see you right back here on the next episode.